glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Explosive offenses on virtually every campus in the Pac-12. Time to establish a little pecking order with this early season matchup in the Pac-12. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. Stadium to host a Super Bowl is alive with cheering fans who are anxiously awaiting the start of this one. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Stanford has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Carr fields it at the three. He's taken down at the 24. The Spartans have a new head man. New theories, new hopes, new dreams. Will there be new wins? We'll find out. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. They get nice yardage on that run. Irvin picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 29. Mike 17. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Inside the 30, and he shoved out of bounds at the 26. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. Quick throw. He's tackled at about the seven yard line. Gain of 19 yards. That makes it first and goal. The 10-yard line. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. Second down, goal to go. 10 yards to the end zone. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Fires that quickly to the tailback. He's taken down right around the six-yard line. The screen is good for four. This should be an easy field goal. San Jose State could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and it's good. A quick update now. Here's Reese. A wild day at West Point. This one was tight. The Black Knights pull it off by a deuce. Meanwhile, the Cardinals enter today's game ranked ninth in the country. And for Louisville, their season starts with a win. The Cardinals win it 23-10. 
we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Completely stopped immediately. That'll make it second and four. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Three nine, three nine. Four. Tackle made right around the 34. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. They'll drop in for a loss. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Take him down immediately. Put a nice pick up here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. That makes it 37. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Stanford is looking to tie things up. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he just drilled it from long range. Williamson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. made at the 17-yard line. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Draw play. Taken down in the backfield. Second and 12. Ball on the 15 yard line. And they make the stop at the 27 yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, down. it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. He's at midfield. And he's tackled around the 33-yard line. That's a gain of 40 on the play. That makes it first and 10. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Mike 17. 
Fires out to his receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Taken down, round the six yard line. That makes it third and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. Throws incomplete, intended for his wide outs. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. This isn't much more than an extra point. San Jose State is looking to go up by three. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He tackles him for a loss. Tackles him for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. He steps out around the 26-yard line. That'll make it third and nine. Tight right, tight right. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Three, three, nine, three, three, nine. Three, three, three. Little four. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 47-yard line. It definitely put them in better field position. And I just have a feeling that they're going to punch it into the end zone on this drive. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. Got his back, but he can't hang on. Wilkerson was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. 
Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. Montgomery picks him up six yards with a catch. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterbacks looking very sharp on this drive. From the 23-yard line, first down. And down he goes at the 22. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Good outside run there. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Brought down the nine-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Tries to get around the corner. Touchdown, Stanford! Boy, did he look determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the end zone. point. So an 11 play, 76 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Grigsby fields it at the one. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. From their own 16-yard line, second down. They bring him down. The blitz worked on that play as they got to the quarterback. Well, the linebacker's going to get credit here for the sack, but that was outstanding coverage downfield. The quarterback didn't have any options downfield, giving the linebacker time to make the play. We played one quarter. The Cardinal lead 10-6. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 31-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Stanford holds a four-point lead. Wilkerson, the ball carrier. Nice run there. Wilkerson picks up about four yards on the play. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. Makes the catch and look out. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. Fires out 
to his wide out. They'll bring him down at the 21. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. And they'll run him again. Nice run there as they work the outside. And a nice run by the tailback. Not a lot of razzle-dazzle here, but it gets the job done and picks up the first down. We've got a second and five. Ten yards to the end zone. Here's the give. Gets to about the eight-yard line. Gain two yards. That makes it third and three. Stanford is up by four. Touchdown, Cardinal! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he hits the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Where do you see what's happening in Logan? Utah State pounded them and wins it big. All right, thanks, Reese. Williamson gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Pressure coming. He's tackled around the 30-yard line. Number 11 on the tackle at the 30-yard line. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 30. He makes his way to about the 38. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Quick throw to the tight end. Tackle right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 48. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Number 11 with the tackle at the 43-yard line. That brings up second and one. it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 38. Gain of five on the play. That makes it first and First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 33. Number two brings him down at the 33-yard line. That brings up second and five. And he hits him hard at the 34. You know, sometimes the defense just has a beat on an option, and there's no way the offense can gain positive yards on it. Here's the eighth play of the series. And 
he's tackled at about the 25-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. This is the 10th play of this drive. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. He heaves it to the end zone. Almost intercepted. Well, that's a great job here by the defense to knock that football away and set up a fourth down. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, looks long enough, and he missed it left. No good. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job of being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. They line up in the jumbo set. And he's taken down at the 47. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Now here's the line, here's the line. Third two, third two. Three nine, three nine. That's a great tackle at the 41. Smith with the tackle at the 41 yard line. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 36. He gets sacked on the play. Called a loss of seven yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. Three down, three down. Watch 36. 36 green nine, nine, green nine. They go. Blue four. Go. Gets rid of it quickly. The pass is incomplete. Montgomery was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Carr, back to return it. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. That makes it first and 10. From their own 28-yard line. 
First down. Out of bounds around the 31 yard line. Just about three yards there. This junior wide receiver had absolutely no room to run after the catch. Good play by the defense. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on their own 31. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down around the 46-yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. Slings it. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. San Jose State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 47-yard line. He wants it all. Found his man to the 10. Touchdown, San Jose State. For Grigsby, he's up to 100 yards and catches. You know, this guy continues to make plays, and what this can do is force the defense to have to double-team him. And if a defense starts to double-team a wide receiver, it opens up avenues for other wide receivers and also the running game to try to exploit the defense. And there's still a lot of ball game to play, fellas. And he converts the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at scores around the country. Cooper's flashed his sticky fingers as he's hauled in a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead, 14-3. Thanks, Reese. 17-13, our score here. San Jose State is ready to kick it away. Sets a return. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Stanford is up four. Fires out quick. It's picked off. Inside the 30. He's tackled at the 15-yard line. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From the 15-yard line, first down. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Throws it to the outside. Fires quickly, touchdown! Calls in his second touchdown catch. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. Trying to go up by three. They'll kick the extra point. And he adds the extra point. A short two-play, 14-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 30. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Leaps picked off. Yes. 
We're going to halftime, and we've got a great game. The Spartans with a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's David, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 29. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it to the 15-yard line. Wilkerson gets three yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 15-yard line. Short over the middle. Tackle around the 32-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 32. to the back. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll bring up third and four. They're about four yards away here on third down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Green eye, green eye. And he's tackled right away. Number 34 makes the tackle at the 37 yard line. That'll move the chance for another Stanford. First down. Watch 36. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. From the 48-yard line, second down. Fired quickly, and he's got his man. He's at the 30. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. Gets 
gets out to around the 12. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Flipping. Offense. Little stumbles like these can Still kill your game. offensive progress. From the 28-yard line, it's first down. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 22. Game of six on the play. That makes it second and six. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tight end right. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Green nine, green nine. Blue four. Blue four. Tackle that producing pickup. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Tries to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. And here's another third down. Looking for the corner, and it's caught. And he hits him hard at the five-yard line. Yeah, Brad, we kind of get a chess match right now going on between the offense and defensive coordinators out there. And the defense tried to bring pressure to try to surprise the quarterback, but the offense, give them credit. They anticipated that and came up with that big first down. Gets to about the five-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That makes it third and goal. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Stanford can tie it up here with this kick. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. Let's take a look at some scores from around the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Arizona, they look to start their season off on the right foot. Arizona leads it 14-6. High game, 2020 in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 29-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Mike 17, Mike 17. Let's it fly. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 45. Mike 17. Out. Sends it to the mark. Motion, motion. There you go. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. They'll drop him for a loss.
first has the INT. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 45. and now they'll have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. And he's hammered down. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. They'll give it off here. Good outside run there. Seven yards there on that bit of misdirection. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. On play action. Grabs it and hammered right there. That's good for a game of one yard. Third down. Tie left, tie left. Four down, four down. Mike, three, six. Mike, three, six. Green, nine, green, nine. Go. Scrambling around. And he's level at the 31. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. will be the return man. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. And for Grigsby, his receiving stats really stand out tonight. Well, for all the young wide receivers out there, this is a guy you want to pay attention to. He runs very precise routes. He does a really good job of keeping the defender away from having a chance to make a play on the ball. Already two touchdowns today, and just showing that every single time he touches the football, he's a threat to take it to the house. Well, his team is going to need him to keep coming through. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. And they make the stop around the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Kirby, we saw this guy go to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury. It's pretty important to this team, and uh, they're going to have to find a way to work through this win without it. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. throws it and he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one first down from the 42 yard line first down Hands on it and dropped it. That makes it second and ten. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. 
And once again, they'll come to the line, trying to convert on third down. He's going to go for the home run. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. That's a great tackle at the 34. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 34. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. And that'll do it for the third quarter. And at the end of three, the scoreboard dead even. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He lets it fly. Got it. For the 20. The 10. Touchdown. Huge play. That score puts him in the driver's seat right now offensively. The question is, can the defense hold on here in the fourth quarter? Arizona bearing down in Tucson. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Arizona, they'll hit you in the mouth and make you like it, and they pound one in for the score. The Wildcats have the lead, 21-6. All right, Reese, back to our game. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Gets it out quickly. And down he goes the 24-yard line. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 24. Up the middle for a nice game. That's a game of five on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Lopez is the putter. Tries to get around the corner. They'll bring him down at the 47 yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that Still costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From their own 30-yard line. First down. Stanford is up a score. Green eye, green eye. They'll go ground. He fights forward to about the 30. No game. That'll bring up second and 11. Watch 
That's a screen. That's a screen. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Green, nine, green. Two. The 38-yard line. That'll bring up 32. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. They got green nine, green nine. Blue four. So third down and medium, you think the defense would have a chance here to get really aggressive and to be able to stop the offense. I don't know, maybe they were anticipating a pass there, but they've got to do a better job of defending the run, especially on third down. They're packed in tight on the line. Little handoff. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. At about the 41. That makes it first and ten. They'll bring him down at the 39 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. From the 39-yard line, it's second down. Stanford is up by a touchdown. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll make it third and one. And this play is number eight on the drive. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. Run up the middle. Third down has been the charm on this drive. Now it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. Green nine, green nine. Four. He steps up around the 22-yard line. That's a game of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. They're really pulling a nice drive together right now. And it seems right now this defense is having a hard time guessing what the offense is up to. From the 10 yard line, it's first down. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Green, nine. Tackle made around the nine-yard line. They've been two for two on third downs in this drive, and they'll try to convert again here. Stanford is up seven. Green nine, green nine. Four, two, four. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And for Hogan, he's been responsible for three scoring passes. He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making plays. That is a great touchdown. He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 17-yard line. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Taken down in the backfield. 
And that's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. From their own 16-yard line, second down. Zips it to the back, and he's tackled at the 15. Flips it middle to the running back. He's tackled at the 18-yard line. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 35. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Just over two minutes in the game. Taken down at about the 33-yard line. San Jose State will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 33-yard line. And he is drilled at the 31-yard line. The Spartans use their second timeout. It and he's looking for more. He goes out of bounds at the 24. The Spartans using their third and final timeout. From the 24-yard line, first down. They come out in a goal line set. Gets out to about the 21. Wilkerson gets three yards on the carry. Three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Man left, man left. Takes it right side for a good game. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. Third down. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He makes it to the 18-yard line. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. Under a minute left. Kicks away, and he got it. A quick update now. Here's Reese. A hustle going on in Tucson. And for Arizona, their season starts with a win. The Wildcats waltz out with a 16-point victory. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Williamson ready to kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. They bring him down.
This one's in the books in our final score, Stanford 37, San Jose State 20. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kirk? Well, no doubt about it, this was a pretty big mismatch. San Jose State actually played a good ball game today. They just didn't have the horses to match their counterpart. They need to start recruiting to build this program back up. going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.